just a quick heads up in every single fish soul update video that i do from now on there will be a hidden game pass code somewhere in the video so try and be the first one to find it i promise you there will be good game passes not like cheap quick rolls cheap gamma packs whatever but they will be worth your time if you try and find them you can use them on alt count you can use them for any account that you want you can gift it to a friend just whoever gets it gets it first so try and watch out for them codes because they will be a little bit sneaky it's not going to be too obvious so you do need to look for them a fair bit but let's go on with the video hey guys this video is just going to be showing you how to download fish or version 1.9 sorry i couldn't make a video for version 1.8 i was on a pretty big holiday that caused me to miss the update and by that point i didn't really want to make a video on it this definitely isn't the only thing i've added but one of the key features me and max have added into this new update is a plugins mod which lets you customize what features you want in the macro depending on if you want it solely for fishing or an all-purpose macro that does everything. For now, the only plugin we have for you guys that's downloadable is a biome slash aura detection plugin that sends any biomes and auras you get through a webhook message and this does include cyberspace by the way. I've went ahead and partnered up with what I consider to be the best glitch hunts to use this biome macro for and the servers that I picked out is Psycho's glitch hunt, Chicken's glitch hunt, Mana's glitch hunt, Doll's glitch hunt, and Silly's glitch hunt, and all servers as well as mine will be in the description. All of these servers are genuinely insane because they get glitched in DreamSpace regularly, and hopefully with you using Fish Soul, which has an auto biome randomizer and strange controller setting, which is the only way to get cyberspace, we will hopefully get more cyberspaces in the future and make them a common thing. There will be a lot more plugins coming soon, like auto crafting, auto use pots and other cool stuff like that that'll hopefully turn this macro into more of an all-purpose plugin while still keeping the main focus on fishing. But like usual, I'll show some timestamps on screen so you can skip to whatever part of the video you want and let's get straight to it. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is go to autohockey.com. I'll have the link in my description and my Discord server where you can ask any questions about the macro if you need any help setting it up, anything like that. So what you want to do next is click download and you want to download version 1.1, not 2.0 very important you download version 1.1 you want to click save you want to click this little folder icon up here this will take you to your downloads folder you want to double click it it'll come up with a little pop-up click yes and since you already have it installed this button will say repair but if you don't already click this top button cross it off and you're all good all right so the next thing you're going to want to go to is to my github page link will be in the description and discord server once again and then you're going to want to make your way down to releases you want to click version 1.9, you want to download fishshow 1.9.zip, click save. And just for the sake of it, we're also going to download the biomes plugin, so click save as well. You want to head back up here, click this file icon, this will take you to your downloads folder. You want to right click, click extract all, extract once again. And this is fishshow version 1.9. As you can see, there has been a whole rework with the UI as I decided to do this. Thank you for our donators too, just a quick scroll through for all of you. And if you watch closely, I'm going to move this out of the way. If I drag my biomes.ahk folder into the plugins folder and reopen the macro, you'll see there is a biomes tab. Now this is required if you are macroing inside of a glitch hunt server or a cyberspace hunt server, whichever it may be. But anyways, I'll show you how to use everything now. All right, now before I start showing you guys what everything actually does, I'm just going to give a quick rundown on what everything does instead of just the new features for people who haven't seen the macro yet. Now, first off, we have F1 to start, F2 to stop, and F3 to close. The resolution, you can only use one of these three. There are not any custom resolutions that will instantly work with these, so you have to use these three. Toggle sell all is pretty simple. Clicks the sell all button instead of the regular sell button inside of the fisherman shop. Fishing loop count. This is how many times you want it to fish before it goes to walk back to spawn and sell back to the fisherman. Sell loop count is how many times that it will actually sell the fish inside of the fisherman UI. Pathing mode is which mode of pathing that it will do. So if you have VIP or VIP plus, pick VIP pathing. If you don't have VIP or VIP Plus, choose non-VIP pathing. If you have Abyssal Hunter with VIP, there is not a setting that works with Abyssal that doesn't have VIP at the moment, so you can only use Abyssal Pathing if you do have VIP. Now, Advanced Fishing Detection. This was a feature back in 1.8 that I also didn't mention in the last video because I wasn't bothered to make one. 
Now what this basically does is it clicks before it actually leaves the fishing range, like the little indicator at the top. I'll show you a quick video on screen that I've sent in my sneak peeks. But what it does basically here is advanced fishing detection uses a system that clicks slightly before the bar exits the fishing range, making the catch rate higher than ever. And th again, this is very recommended for lower end devices, like people running like lower than 30, 40 FPS. Now MISC, we have an auto unequip. This is just every pathing loop. It unequips your auras, auto close chat. Some people forget to close their chat while starting the macro and this causes bugs making their macro break for the whole time that they're AFKing. Strange controller, biome randomizer. Also, this is something you have to worry about. Um, this also isn't my account, so shout out to this guy. This is just somebody I'm popping in glitch for soon. Um, you cannot use fonts with the biome randomizer and strange controller. I have it set up a very specific way, so if you have a font set up, it just won't work because how the failsafe works that we've added with the um, items it just won't work because it needs to detect a certain color in a very specific spot so it knows what it's using and if it doesn't detect that color you know example with a font that misplaces it it just won't use it so be aware of that now this is the only way that you can actually get cyberspace so i would recommend everybody to turn both of these on now fail safes i've already went through these in past videos quite a bit but auto rejoin failsafe if it doesn't detect the white pixel that indicates that the fishing macro or the fishing minigame has actually started it'll rejoin because i'll show another video on screen there is a bug that completely stops you from fishing at all and resetting doesn't fix it you know nothing like that but fishing failsafe this is just for a bug ui and if you accidentally leave the fisherman's ui open by accidentally clicking e sometimes it does do that from a random lag spike like it reopens the menu and it blocks your way of clicking the fishing button again pathing fail saves this is just so if you walk into a hole or the pathing messes up then it'll restart the pathing webhook now what this toggle does is when toggled this sends a message when a fail safe is triggered so either one of these three when toggled this sends a message when the macro path to auto cell now this is literally just again pathing mode either one of these three as soon as one of these three start pathing back to the fisherman this will trigger a message through webhook now these ones let you know well this toggle here lets you know when you use biome randomizer or strange controller this is pretty useful i'm going to be honest it lets you know if it has actually worked and if the cyberspace was gotten properly uh, other than just a fake cyberspace biomes this is the biomes plugin but all you got to do is just add your private server link if you want to join mine here it is um, if you don't want any of these biomes getting sent through your webhook, you can literally just click it and it won't send hell. You can click this one, it won't send normal biomes, so once it does turn to normal, it will skip that and not send it through to the webhook. But I'd suggest keeping all of these on. Clicking this simply just opens your file, opens your plugins folder, and credits. Alright, that's all for this update guys. I hope you all enjoy. If you found the secret game pass code, uh, just DM me on Discord and I'll add you as a winner inside of our Discord server. I do need to see proof of you using the code though. The video would be preferred, but a photo does just fine. And just so you guys know, donations are what makes all this possible. My number one goal for this is honestly just to give back to the community as much as I can while using your guys' support. And I appreciate all you guys for that. But, you know, just thought I'd let you guys know. Anyways... That's all for this update guys, I'll see you in the next one.